Clementine Hunter was born in 1887 and lived until she was over 100 years old. As a young girl, she worked as a farm laborer and didn't start painting until she was in her 50s. Then she used whatever materials she could find, including canvas, wood, and even plastic milk jugs. Her paintings use bright colors and show the everyday life of the black community, living and working on the plantation. Hunter was the first African-American woman to have a solo art exhibition. Sadly, she wasn't allowed to see her art because of segregation. Today, you will draw flowers based on Hunter's Zinnia series. I'm using a black marker. You can use a black crayon. And I'm gonna divide up my space first and foremost. So in the middle, I'm gonna put a curved line and everything below it is where my vase will be. So now I'm doing the two sides, curving. You can change the shape. The important thing is that you really fill your space. We're not drawing a teeny tiny flower pot. We really want to go all the way to the bottom of our paper, just like that. Now you can add one or two handles. She does it both ways. Next up is the flowers, the zinnias. I'm gonna start drawing them by drawing small circles all around the top of my paper. Draw anywhere from six to nine circles. Make sure they're spread out because we're gonna make bigger circles around them. Just like this. So I'm gonna draw another circle and it doesn't have to be perfectly round. I'm kind of making a little bit of a squiggly line and wherever they're touching, I'm only drawing a little bit, so I'm not overlapping. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna look like some of your flowers are in front and some of your flowers are behind each other. Now, I have some extra space in between, so I'm gonna start filling it with leaves. You can either fill it with individual leaves like I'm drawing here, or you can make a big uh, curved line around all of your flowers and everything inside that will be the green leaves. If you go back to the pictures of Clementine Hunter's zinnias, the last one right before we get started shows you a picture of the leaves when it's just a big green background. It's up to you. And now we color. I'm gonna start with the flowers and I'm gonna use crayons because I want to blend some of my colors together to make it look like the paint strokes. So I'm gonna use pink and I'm gonna go around the middle of my flower. Then I'll follow over that with the darker pink. And that'll give me two different colors for my zinnia. I'm gonna keep on doing this. You can use any colors you want. I'm gonna show you the first three and then the rest will kind of fade in. Take your time and color in your zinnias. When all of your flowers are colored in, you can begin working on the leaves. I'm using different greens and you can either color them in completely or you can see how I'm leaving the tops 
of some of them white, I will fill that in with a color of the flower, just as an added little pop. It's up to you. After you do the leaves, you'll work on the vase, the middle of the zinnias, and finally color in the background. So your entire paper should be colored. There shouldn't be any white. Clementine Hunter loved bright colors, so you should have bright colors in yours too. I can't wait to see them.